Okay, that energy is coming from the solar panels in real thin wires, okay? It's, it's not, uh, not a lot of amperage and it goes into a converter. The converter, what it does, converts electrical energy, solar energy, into pulse energy. Uh, pulse radiant energy. Uh, radiant energy, you can hold it and it won't shock you, although it goes up to 900 volts. If you feel like a tingling sensation, uh, but it doesn't hurt a lot. It just kind of, you feel like a tingling sensation. Okay, now let me demonstrate. It, although you can hold it in your hand, you know, when it's right now it's on uh, and it's tingling. But let me show you what happens when you charge a capacitor. Let's say you wanted to charge 450 volts. 450 volts. Remember the panels are only 18 volts. So, uh, got a rough question for you. How long do you think it would take to charge up to 450 volts? Half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour? Take your pick. Well, here's a demo and I'm going to show you how long it t actually does take to charge 450 using radiant energy converted from solar panels. Okay, here we go. First thing I'm going to do is I'll make sure that this is shorted out. So plus to negative, negative to plus, and I'm shorting out. Okay, now we're going to charge it. I left one end on purpose uh, not hooked in because unbelievable as it may seem how fast this thing charges. Okay, watch this. Now don't worry, I'm not going to take a lot of your time because it takes only seconds. One 1,000, two 1,000. Okay, let's see. Oh, you saw that? Okay, again, we're going to neutralize it. Zero volts. And again, how long does it take? Here you go, we're going to charge it. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. And we're going to try to see the spark. Whoa, that was about 500 volts or more. Okay, one more time. Charging. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Discharging. Charging. Discharging. Charging. Okay, as you see, it only takes two or three seconds. Uh, about two seconds, two and a half seconds to charge up a capacitor of 450 volts. And it's so powerful that it does this. It's, it's stainless steel and yet it kind of solders, melts the point of contact. Here's another demo where I made a contact. And these are forged steel and see the the points of contact and a reminder it's only 18 volts coming from the solar panel but uh, as you I don't know if you can see it the points where it touch it's it's changed color the metal has changed color kind of like a welding okay that was it just to demonstrate the power of the Sun